I can't believe it, but there are only two weeks left in 2023. I know time is flying by, but before the year is over, I want to do a top 10 most powerful players in Rise of Kingdoms list. So that way you guys know who the biggest Krakens are going into 2024. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. Let me give you a pro tip. Cafe Bustello with a little bit of Swiss Miss hot chocolate mix. It's the easiest and cheapest mocha you'll ever make. Anyway, let's just jump right into the list. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of honorable mentions really quick. Here we have effing boss from 1860. The reason that this player is an honorable mention is because I think they might have quit. Although I do believe based on my notes here, it looks like they've gained about 50,000 power over the past couple of months. So some sort of something is happening on the account. But as you can see, they are not in an alliance and their power really hasn't moved that much. Another honorable mention is Burnaby in 1680. This player quit a long time ago, but technically they would still be in the top 10 most powerful players in the game. Same thing with DN Cookie from 15. 1956 they're no longer in an alliance and I think that this player quit I don't know exactly what happened to their account but their power hasn't been moving in the past couple of months and they technically would be in the top 10 most powerful players in the game right now I also want to mention the Nefisto. he is at over 1 billion power and as you guys know I think he quit the game for Call of Dragons but you can't even view his account anymore like there's no way I mean I don't know if it's just me but like I'd maybe he blocked me or something but I I can't view his account at all I actually just came over here to my farm account and I can't view his account here either so I don't know if he got like banned or something like that you can let me know in the comments section below now one other player that I want to cover before before we jump into the top 10 list is sort of like a runner up and that is Makote 5. This is a player from 1846 currently sitting at 584 million power and I'm just going to let you guys know right now that the top 10 most powerful players in the game some of these players are a much lower power I believe than the last episode that we did of this series which is pretty interesting but the reason that Makote is a runner up is because technically he's number 11 but you'll see later in the video that some of these places you know it's it's one player who has multiple accounts so I figured I'd just throw this in there to let you guys know that this dude is insane okay 42 billion kill points 31 billion of which coming from tier 5 alone 51 Ark of Osiris wins here which is insane we could take a look here highest power ever was 750 million with 360 almost 360 million dead troops taking a look at the commander view here we have all the details are hidden but I suspect all of these are expertise. We've got Nevsky, Liu Che, and Liu Liang. I think these are some of the prime suspects that you're going to see a lot here. Uh, currently in my KVK, Liu Che is everywhere and he has popping off boys so yeah really insane stuff he's in the watch it burn alliance rocking the ottoman empire civilization taking a look at his album here and i i suspect this is i mean is this his house like this is bro this is a resort like what what are these are these the same building these aren't in this does he own two houses like what is this bro that is insane okay 77 million dead troops in a single kvk what okay moving on to the official top 10 list coming in at number 10 is boom 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 three from kingdom 1960 rocking the german civilization in 60 gt of course and sitting at 615 million power with 15.7 billion kill points okay so there you go i mean makote sitting at 42 i mean that's that's wild all right we got 10.5 billion at tier 5 and 5 billion tier 4. we have eight arc of osiris wins and on the commander view we have nevsky jue liang guan yu and liu che as the rally captain charge captain wow okay again these three are like the star of the show right now in the open field it seems like so you're gonna see them a ton highest power ever was 651 million with 82 million dead troops taking a peek at the album and I actually don't think I've seen this player's album before we have a very adorable puppy wearing some precious clothing here that's adorable why does this look like he's like on a boat or like uh, in an airplane or something like what what is I'm so poor I don't even know where he is oh look at that he's got his rise of kingdoms account in the picture so you know it's not something that he just downloaded off the internet I have no idea what type of vehicle this is to be honest with you guys but uh yeah that's okay we got a wine lover over here I think that's wine right again I'm too poor to understand any of this stuff but uh yeah boom 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 three coming in at number 10. coming in at number nine is BT cyborg this is no stranger to these top 10 lists he's been on there multiple times currently in kingdom 24 29 in the side to side alliance rocking the Ottoman Empire civilization currently sitting at 642 million power with 24 billion kill points 20 billion of which are tier five units oh my god actually unbelievable Take 
taking a look at the more info section you could see that 836 million was his highest power ever i am ugh, dude making these lists i'm so jealous of these accounts i wish i had the money to have just an insane account in rise of kingdoms taking a look at his deads he has 175 million dead troops looking at the commander view we see would you look at that Zhuge Liang, Liu Che, Nevsky, those are the three you're going to see a ton here. We also see Guan Yu. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Guan Yu with CPO is still for me in the open field trading two to one, three to one. Like it's still an insane army. So Guan Yu is still, he is still holding on, boys. He's still holding on. Taking a look at the album here, I think we've looked at this album probably quite a few times. A couple of superheroes and uh looks like Obi-Wan, I think. I think that's Obi-Wan. I have no idea. I'm sorry, nerds. Anyway, moving on to number eight on the list, we have GT. T Addy from Kingdom 1960, also in the 60 GT Alliance, currently rocking the Germany civilization and sitting at 660 million power with 20 billion kill points, 12.8 billion of which are tier five units. Taking a look at more info, we see that they are currently at basically their highest power ever with 147 million dead troops, which is crazy. Looking at the commander view, we see Nevsky Joan and we see Huo with Zhuge Liang. Now, Huo is also a lot of people when he came out, people were saying Huo is a little bit, you know, he's a little bit meh, but honestly, guys, he pops off. Okay. Huo it pops off again. Lots of these players hiding their commander view, taking a look at the album here. We've got, it uh, looks like a motivational quote. I'm going to go ahead and drop a, drop a like on that one. We see 36 million dead troops in a single KVK. Ooh, MVP. High, high individual score. That is impressive stuff here. Once I became Rock R4, finally understood the scene where Yoda gets so tired of answering Luke's question, he just dies. That's probably every R4, R5 in the entire game right there. Moving on to number seven, we have a very big jump in power. And this was a little bit odd to me. Usually, like these lists kind of scale up, you know, they usually start around 700 million and they go all the way up to like over a billion. Here we had a few in the 600 millions and then here. Here we have wild lion with 962 million power currently in kingdom 2377 rocking the germany civilization now i actually did an entire video covering wild lion's account if you missed that video go ahead and check it out because his account is absolutely unbelievable he shows us everything all his commanders armaments equipment it is ridiculous so definitely check it out on the channel this is a, a little bit of a newer player actually uh compared to the rest of the people on the list sitting at 16. 5 billion kill points 12.1 billion of which are tier 5 units taking a look at the more information you could see that the highest power ever was 1.2 billion i do believe they had a pretty big kvk a couple of months ago so yes a little bit of power drop there with 133 million dead troops we could see the commander view has uh huo guan yu Boudica, and henry so we probably see a, a bunch of henry rallies out of this player and i don't blame them henry is still an insane rally captain and that's probably not going to change with the introduction of ashurbanipal if you guys missed it i just made a video covering some of the pre-release results from ashurbanipal and henry looks like the primary of choice crazy stuff there so definitely go ahead and check that out and looking at the album we have okay we have six what is that 51 million dead troops unbelievable for a single player single kvk and here i don't know what is going on maybe this was a glitch or something because it looks like he it looks like he got the top prize and then i i have no i don't know what's going on here moving on to number six on the list is mr hope also in kingdom 2377 and in fact mr hope and wild lion are a father son combo and i cover both of their accounts in the video where i talked about wild lion so definitely check that video out because this player sitting at 965 million power is equally if not more impressive than wild lion with 12.4 billion kill points for tier 5 alone both their accounts are insane they're very similar accounts if you take a look at that video looking at the more information section also highest power ever 1.2 billion which is insane taking a look at the commander view we see nevsky guan yu Boudica, and Tarek. Tarek is an insane rally we've been seeing a lot of Tarek with zhuge liang in this current kvk where you can change the troop type of the secondary that is an insane insane rally combination it is it's actually almost like kind of broken i'm kind of concerned about 
the ability to change troop types like moving forward with when, when there's even more power creep wild okay anyway taking a look at mr hope's album we have 51 million deads here as well and yeah i don't know what's going on it looks like they both got the same like glitch here on their accounts i don't under i think this is russian i don't understand the language here so i don't know what it's saying but anyway both mr hope and wild lion insane players moving on to number five on the list we have none other than perfume of mimi this player is no stranger to the top 10 most powerful list perfume of mimi currently in kingdom 1175 in the mimi alliance rocking the germany civilization at 980 million power 28 billion kill points with almost 20 billion of which are tier five units taking a look at the more information section you can see that this account used to be at 1 billion power which is insane and i believe we covered the account back then taking a look at the commander view we have of course justinian and heraclius okay really interesting there we have joan of arc and boudica also uh zenobia it looks like this this page is basically just Mimi showing off okay because obviously you're not going to use Zenobia to gather you're not going to use Margaret to gather but uh yeah we can take a look at some of the talents here these are the talents on the uh Heraclius so this must be like a city garrison or something like that taking a look at the Justinian talents this looks like probably an open field build no undying fury okay looking at the Joan of Arc uh this also typically you would not I mean you probably wouldn't run Joan of Arc primary anyway taking a look at the Boudicca talents we see okay we grab rejuvenate and they, okay makes sense we only have one point razor sharp not sure what's going on there but yeah the archer tree is an insane tree overall so really nice stuff there let's look at Margaret what are the talents here okay interesting stuff yeah this is the engineering tree we don't really see the engineering tree too much what about the Dito this must be the garrison build that uh Mimi is rocking on the Dito of course we grab rejuvenate over there we get the first line of the garrison talents okay cool moving on to number four on the list we have flower of mimi and this is why earlier in the video i mentioned makote because mimi is we know one player and takes up two slots on this list so i figured we would throw in makote as kind of like another you know another entry here but flower of mimi sitting at 984 million power also in kingdom 1175 rocking the germany civilization must be in between kvks for 1175 taking a look at the more information this account was also over 1 billion at one point with 120 million dead troops taking a look at the commander view we have Jadwiga, Jan Ziska, Bert, Justinian, Liuche, Tark, and Suleiman oh my god taking a look at the album here I think we've seen Mimi's album a couple of times not too much has changed here for any of these albums of course Mimi is infinitely more rich than I will probably ever be so that's always you know always makes me feel good as far as like let's take a look at the, the talent builds here for Jadwiga okay that makes sense I think that I mean a lot of players would agree with that this is the talent build for the Janziska again makes total sense to me the Bertrand boy did Bertrand not age well this is the uh build we're rocking here I guess this is the best that you're gonna do with your boy we got Justinian over here grabbing one point in cage of thorns it makes a lot of sense coming down to Suleiman let's see what they got on the Suleiman okay we grab entrenched got you got you um yeah I mean that is that is what it is I guess this is definitely a Suleiman okay let's see what Tarek is rocking here we grab okay to studio formation makes sense uh we got a bunch of extra March speed okay so no uh no buckler shield over here so I'm not really sure this must be maybe an open field build or maybe they just don't rock buckler shield I don't know and take a look at Liu Che we see uh yeah this is a pretty standard build here I think I probably rock something identical to this on mine as well yeah you definitely grab all that March speed over here for infantry impressive stuff Mimi has uh almost 100 commanders we're coming in close coming in hot on 100 commanders we have 25 billion kill points on this account 19 billion of which are tier five units Whew, man Mimi's accounts are just constantly in the top five power it's kind of insane moving on to number three on the list we have none other than Baba TC Ataturk now this is of course a legendary player recently we made a video about this player talking about how they have spent millions of dollars on rise of kingdoms if you missed that go ahead and check it out but currently in kingdom 2489 and rocking the Ottoman Empire civilization in the Celestial Gardens Alliance 1 billion 76 million power with 57 billion kill points oh my goodness 46 billion of which are tier 5 alone Baba's tier 5 kill points are higher than some of the other players on the on this list's entire kill points combined okay so Baba is an absolute legend one of the most insane players in rise of kingdoms history taking a look at the more information section you could see that they were at some point 
1.3 billion power i think they were on one of these lists back then as well currently sitting at 292 million dead troops unbelievable guys taking a look at the commander view we have of course guan yu zhuge leong trajan okay and we have Tarek as well now again Tark rallies are just unbelievable guys I'm so jealous Oof, I wish I had an account like this oh my god let's take a look at the uh album and this is the same album that we've seen before looks like he's got the 2023 Cologne uh special city skin that was from the in-person meetup unfortunately I couldn't make it there that would have been awesome but yeah Baba's account is truly something special this is probably the most impressive account in the entire game by far and has been forever coming in at number two is Yoda 80 08, currently in kingdom 2605 in the smash squad he's sitting at 1.1 billion power with over 20 billion kill points which is really impressive stuff there we have 14 billion kill points from tier 5 5 billion kill points from tier 4 and as you guys know and can tell from the user id this player is got a little bit of a younger account than baba so it makes sense that their kill points would be a little bit lower but i think yoda's kill points have gone up substantially over the uh period that we've been covering these top 10 players so yeah an insane warrior in rise of kingdoms no question taking a look at the more information you could see that they were at one point 1.8 billion power actually insane an actually insane power number uh like oh my god just the difference between their highest power and their current power is like 650 million which means they would be number uh nine on this list even if you just took their power lost okay uh insane 298 million dead troops taking a look at the commander view we have of course Liu Che we have Zhuge Liang we have Dido okay and we have Henry V also expertise Moctezuma good for you Yoda that is that's that's how you know that they are just winning mightiest governors for the heck of it we take a look at the album here we have the farm whale classic farm whale yes such a farmer with 20 billion kill points oh my gosh such a farmer here we see 77 million dead troops in a single kvk oh my god what a farmer guys look at the oh no dude i'm so poor oh my god i'm so poor he has the oh bro he has trial of the lost oh my god bro the cutest little puppy we've obviously seen those pictures before because we've already dropped a heart on it I'm gonna drop a heart on this one as well and here we have 82 million oh my god boys absolutely incredible and of course number one is Maverick L in Kingdom 1322 currently sitting at 1.4 billion power with 10.3 billion kill points now they're currently rocking the germany civilization and this player there's not much to say about this player we don't have the album we don't have any talents on these commanders but we have guan yu nebu nevsky and Boudica prime on here so nevsky an interesting choice uh you would typically see you know henry uh julia leong lots of different options that they could have here so not really sure but yeah their highest power ever was 1.5 billion power and 196 million dead troops so maverick l is often the number one most powerful player here um their kill points are a bit lower than most of the others on the list but currently they are technically the most powerful player in rise of kingdoms anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace